folks, Dave Nelson again here coming to you from the labs of Dell Pre-Tech Corporation. I'd like to welcome you to our first installment of Tech Tips for the Beginner CMM Program, titled Cosigner. Of course, in our business, there's a lot of different types of air, ranging from environmental, temperature, humidity, vibration, to errors inherent in the machine design, construction of materials, to operator errors, due to programming technique, how we handle the parts, etc. I don't think that it's necessary that we try to eliminate every type of error in most cases. I would contend that a lot of those errors, at least on a small scale, tend to cancel each other out statistically. Some affecting measurement on the positive side, while others on the negative side. But it is important that we understand as many sources of error as we can so that we can make better decisions and become better programmers. So here we're going to focus on one particular type of error called cosine error, what it is, where it comes from, and in future videos, we'll talk about how to optimize our programs and how to eliminate that as best as possible. Hope you find it useful. Good luck. Welcome to another presentation of Tech Tips for the Beginner CMM User, brought to you by Nell Pretech Corporation. In this short slide series, we will be reviewing the concept of cosine error, what it is, and where it comes from. CMM programs compensate for the size of the probe. For the purposes of this demonstration, we will assume a round or spherical probe. After the CMM probe is calibrated, the CMM has an understanding of the probe size, which is critical to the mathematical processes of calculating actual point and surface locations, as well as distances and feature sizes. basic probe compensation process. As the probe moves around in the physical space of the machine, the CMM tracks the center of the probe. When it makes contact with the surface, it will then add the radius of the probe when calculating a point location. We call this radial compensation. So the question that should come to mind is how does the CMM know where on the surface of the spherical probe to place a radial compensation point? Any CMM understands the motion of its axes and thereby its probe. Therefore, the CMM uses the vector that the probe is moving along when it triggers a point and then calculates the radial compensation point along this vector. Cosine error is a result of the probe that triggers a point while moving at a non-normal direction to the measured surface. Moving in a non-normal or not 90 degrees fashion to the measured surface results in the CMM placing the radial compensation point at the wrong location relative to the measured surface. So now that we understand cosine error, we can conclude that it is minimized or eliminated by probing measured surfaces in a normal or 90 degree direction. So how can we ensure normal probing and how can we accomplish this when surfaces are changing from one part to the next? Find out, check out some of our upcoming tips on CMM programming optimization and normal probing. 